Problem 15. We need to calculate the surface area and volume of this rectangular solid. And since it's a rectangular solid, what that means is that all of the faces, like this is a face, DCGF, and here's another one, ADFE, all of these are rectangles. And there are six faces to a rectangular solid. And then we know the dimensions. We're given those. This is the width, which is 5 centimeters. Here's the length, which is 9 centimeters. And then the altitude is 12 centimeters. And it doesn't really matter which of these you call length and which width and which altitude. But we do need all three of those. And the surface area is really just the area of all of the faces added together. And then each of these is a rectangle. And then opposite faces are congruent. So DCGF and ABHE are congruent rectangles. And so are AD. F, E, and B, C, G, H, and then the top and the bottom rectangles are congruent. And so that makes it a little bit easier to do the calculation. Let me show you. I did each of these in pairs. And I started with A, B, C, D on top. That has a width of 5 and a length of 9 because C, F, G, and D, C are the same. And so the area of this is 5 times 9. And then there are two of these. There's one on top and there's one on bottom, and those are congruent. And so I just multiplied this quantity, 5 times 9, multiplied it by 2. And then here's 5 times 12, and that's this face here, B, C, G, H. And then the other one, A, D, F, E, there are two of those. And so I have 5 times 12 multiplied by 2. And then 9 times 12, that's this face here, D, C, G, F, and then the one in the back, A, B, H, E. Both of those have an area of 9 times 12, and so I multiplied that by 2. And then now let's simplify by multiplying inside the parentheses. And that gives us 45, 60, and 108. And then we'll multiply each of those by 2, which gives us 90 plus 120 plus 216. And then adding those up, we get 426. And then since the dimensions are in centimeters, this has to be square centimeters. And so 426 square centimeters is the surface area of this rectangular solid. Now, what about the volume? Well, that's the amount of space inside the solid. Surface area is how much flat space is on the outside of the box. The volume is how much space there is inside. And then area, you know, is calculated in square units. This is square centimeters. Those are just little squares. 426 just means there's room for 426 little squares, each with one centimeter sides all along the outside of this. Volume is measured with little cubes. And so we need to figure out how many little cubes with one centimeter sides will fit inside this box. And the way to do it is to multiply the length by the width by the altitude. And we have all three of those. See, we just take 5 times 12 times 9. It doesn't matter which order you do those in. We just need to multiply all three together to get 540. And then since everything's in centimeters, and this is a volume, it's going to be 540 cubic centimeters. And then you can write that the short way by using the exponent 3, or you could just write it out cubic centimeters either way. So the answers to problem 15 are 426 square centimeters, that's the surface area, and 540 cubic centimeters is the volume.